An overhaul of the free application for federal student aid, or FAFSA, was meant to make the application process easier for students and families. Its rollout resulted in anything but, with the botch release further complicating an already stressful process for students. KSBY reporter Eduardo Wehon Jr. has more on how this has impacted local students. In your community of San Luis Obispo, I'm Eduardo Wijon Jr. As the new school year gets underway, some students at Cuesta College have been experiencing delays in their financial aid payments. Cuesta College officials say due to ongoing technical issues in the 2024 to 2025 FAFSA changes, their financial aid office may experience delays in processing student eligibility awards and disbursements. I go in and get help to fill out my FAFSA because it can be really confusing and, you know, it's a new system this year so there's been a lot of people who need help filling that out and then now students are coming in and asking like when the financial aid is going to be dispersed. Savannah King is a mother of two and a scholarship recipient attending Cuesta College. She's a part of the extended opportunity programs and services and has reached out for assistance when applying for financial aid. King says she is still waiting for one more grant and is worried about its arrival. Without those scholarships I would would have been like way more affected by the delay because you know I'm a mom to two kids I pay my rent with you know a lot of my financial aid groceries books everything the biggest grant that I usually get per semester it's called the chafee grant and um, because the FAFSA and other um, financial aid disbursements are delayed, um, that grant is also being delayed. Dr. Elizabeth Goria, the Assistant Superintendent and Vice President of Student Success and Support Programs at Cuesta College says the federal student aid application for the new school year has faced several challenges to its system. Goria says the delay in financial aid disbursements are occurring nationwide. All of that has caused ongoing delays with processing it has caused our office to have to relook at and re design and we look at how we process, what our policies are, update all our communications in response to the changes with the FAFSA. And it also caused our vendors that deal with all of our software to also have to then fix their platforms in order to respond to the changes. Dr. Coria says students who were not selected for verification on their federal student aid application received their disbursement a week before the semester began. However, students who were selected needed to provide government issued documentation. She says part of the process for verification is to mitigate financial aid fraud. Students that were either selected for verification by the Department of Ed or have to follow up with any documentation, those were the students that are really getting impacted. Other Cuesta College students told me about the challenges they are facing. For the Pell Grant, right, they gave me the specific days when the funds were supposed to be distributed, but that's been well past for about 10 days now. And I was like, okay, I'll just be patient. But when I try to go to the FAFSA uh, or the financial aid on Cuesta's portal and go home, it just says, like, can't load page. It's always been, like, super difficult to get, like, my stuff through, especially because, like, my parents are undocumented. And like they recently, like this year, just became documented. Like now they have their green card and everything. But like I feel like cause, because they were undocumented, it would take longer sometimes. Like I wouldn't even get my financial aid until like the second month of school sometimes. Gordia says students who have not yet paid for their classes will not be dropped and will have a hold placed on their student records. Cuesta College financial aid disbursements are scheduled every Tuesday and students can check their student account on the MyQuesta portal to confirm that their aid has been dispersed. In San Luis Obispo, I'm Eduardo Wijón Jr., KSBY News.